reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel. O people of Zion who dwell in Jerusalem, no more will you weep. He will be gracious to you when you cry out. As soon as he hears, he will answer you. The Lord will give you the bread you need and the water for which you thirst. No longer will your teacher hide himself, but with your own eyes you shall see your teacher, while from behind a voice shall sound in your ears, This is the way, walk in it, when you would turn to the right or to the left. He will give rain for the seed that you sow in the ground, and the wheat that the soil produces will be rich and abundant. On that day your flock will be given pasture, and the lamb will graze in spacious meadows. The oxen and the asses that till the ground will eat silage tossed to them with shovel and pitchfork. Upon every high mountain and lofty hill there will be streams of running water. On the day of the great slaughter, when the towers fall, the light of the moon will be like that of the sun, and the light of the sun will be seven times greater, like the light of seven days. On the day the Lord binds up the wounds of his people, he will heal the bruises left by his blows. The word of the Lord. Be Blessed are all who wait for the Lord. Praise the Lord. For he is good. Sing praise to our God, for he is gracious. It is fitting to praise him. The Lord rebuilds Jerusalem, the dispersed of Israel he gathers. Blessed are all who wait for the Lord. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. He tells the number of the stars. He calls each by name. Blessed are all who wait for the Lord. Great is our Lord, and mighty in power. To his wisdom there is no limit. The Lord sustains the lowly. The wicked he casts to the ground. Blessed are all who wait for the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, The Lord is our judge, our lawgiver, our king. He it is who will save us. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus went around all the towns and villages teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom, and curing every disease and illness. At the sight of the crowds, his heart was moved with pity for them, because they were troubled and abandoned, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, the harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest, to send out laborers for his harvest. And he summoned his twelve disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to drive them out and to cure every disease and every illness. 
Jesus sent out these twelve after instructing them thus, Go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse lepers, drive out demons. Without cost, you have received. Without cost, you are to give. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. start this morning where I was uh, yesterday uh, at Eucharist both at uh, St. Teresa and the Healing Mass and I was sharing then that one of the great joys I think of the Advent journey is the fact that it really focuses on God's restorative redeeming love. Lent focuses much more on sin and repentance. Advent's great focus is on this God who longs to reach into our lives, our hearts, to heal and make us whole. Yesterday, if you were at Eucharist, you heard about deaf hearing, blind seeing, the poor and the lowly being restored to new life. Today, the great promise is over the children of Israel, and we can safely say over each one of us. And the great promise today is God will give bread and water. God will bless their fields with grain, their livestock with plenty, and there will be streams of water flowing down from every mountain and high hill. Again, it's this great image that God is a God who restores and wants to lead us into wholeness and fullness of life. Jesus put it this way, I have come that they may have life and have it in all its fullness. Now today what happens, however, when you get to the gospel, is you begin to see the transition that goes on. Jesus is saying to his disciples, I have restored so much in you. Now you go out and be agents of restoration yourself. Just as Jesus healed and set free, now he says, you, my disciples, can also heal and set free. And I am more and more convinced, the older I get, that God is much more interested in how healthily I live over how well I pray. I truly believe God is much more interested in how healthily I live and become an agent of passing on that healthy living to others than how well I pray. We haven't heard a lot about praying and churches and devotions, but we have been hearing a lot about a God who restores, heals, and leads us into wholeness. I'm still on that journey, and you are too. And the wonder is, God will continue that great work in us. And God who give, does that great work in us simply asks us to take the healing we have received from God and be agents, agents of its gift 
to others. That hopefully is a challenge that each one of us will gratefully accept and more importantly, faithfully carry.